Okay. Hi, my name is Brittany. This is my very first video. And I wanted my channel to be all about mommies staying sexy, saying themselves and keeping it cute even though you're running around after small children, pregnant, and so forth. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I definitely let myself go a bit during my first pregnancy. I have a one-year-old now. I'm pregnant again with my second. And I wanted to document my pregnancy this time and show how I'm able to maintain my weight a lot better than I did the first time. The first time was ridiculous. Um, I gained 53 pounds. I was really uncomfortable. I had gestational diabetes. I was placed on bed rest. It was just really bad. Um, this time, I'm not trying to go that route. I really want to manage my weight and make better decisions about what I put in my mouth. Not only for my own vanity, but also because you're growing a baby. You definitely want to pick the healthiest, things possible to fill your stomach with so that you get the most nutrients for your baby. Also, who wants to be obsessed with losing weight post-baby, postpartum, when you really should be 100% obsessed with your newborn baby? Not worrying about how you look in photos and when you're holding the baby and your face is massive and your shoulders. I don't know about anyone else, but I carried my weight all over, including my eyelids. They were swollen and, and fat until I was, I'd say, almost six months post. It took me a really long time to lose the weight. But I'll talk about that in another video. I'll go over my first pregnancy and really get in depth about the mistakes that I made the first time. This time around, I'm definitely, I definitely want to make better decisions. I am currently, as of today, 18 weeks. And I'm going to recap my first trimester in another video and talk about all the different decisions that I'm making this time. Also, I'm going to show you the baby bump in that video. And so you can see where I am as far as weight, what my pre-weight was, and what my current weight is, and what my weight goals are. Now, for everyone, I know it's different. We're all different sizes. But you should definitely take care of making sure that you're putting the right things and not overdoing it on certain things. For me, last time, I would do a cheat weekend, not a cheat day. And mainly my cravings were pizza and ice cream. So that was my cheat weekend last time. And I carried that pizza and ice cream throughout the entire nine months. And it resulted in 53 pounds extra that I had to get rid of. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. And also, um, I'm going to really get in depth about some of my diet decisions, the things that I'm eating, the things that I am not eating. And I'll be honest on the days that I cheat. Yes, I'm not perfect. It, it's bound to happen. However, there will be no cheat weekends, and I definitely won't go as far as I did last time. Um, for me, I'm really short, I'm very petite, so my weight goals are going to be totally different from someone else's. Um, I'm not documenting what mine is to make someone else feel like they should have those same numbers. I'm documenting this because I looked all over YouTube and everywhere else for moms who were conscious of their weight gain during pregnancy. I don't know if it's taboo or controversial to have vanity within your pregnancy, but let's be honest. Why should I have to look bad after having a baby? It doesn't have to be that way. There are plenty of moms who make better decisions as far as exercise and diet, and they look almost exactly the same post-baby. And I know it's possible, even though I didn't do it the first time, I surely can do it the second time. I don't believe in the jinx that the second pregnancy, you have to be bigger or it has to be worse than the first pregnancy. Absolutely not. So far, I've gained much, much less weight than I did the first pregnancy by the time I was 18 
weeks and um, I'm gonna go through all of that I just wanted to do an introductory video anyone who wants to stay with me on this journey anyone who's pregnant anyone who's postpartum any moms stay with me friends of moms stay with me on this journey we're gonna learn a lot I'm gonna share the books I've read the articles that I've picked up information from I'm, I'm sharing it all because Someone has to. <laughs> it's okay to worry about how much weight you gain during your pregnancy. There's nothing wrong with that. But, but be mindful. You still need to eat in abundance, but the right things. And we're going to talk about that. No, I'm not calorie counting. I am not looking to make sure that I don't grow a certain amount of inches. That's, <laughs> that's silly to me. Um, my stomach and body, it's going to grow the way it needs to for the baby. But the nutrients I provide for the baby, that's what's important. Being active, you know, exercising, working out, staying up on my feet and not always uh, sitting down is also very, very, very important. And of course, if you have any health issues like bed rest, you can't do this. My last pregnancy, I was placed on bed rest for a short while toward the end. So I understand that we can't always do activities but you still can be mindful of your of of the way in which you feed yourself and the way in which you feed your baby so we're gonna go through all that yes please stay with me and if you have any comments any suggestions comment below you know subscribe stay with me and we're gonna go through this and we're gonna end up better than ever ever happier than ever at the end of this thing I promise Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> I hope. All right. Bye.